Hey, what's up guys? It's Darkroom Duels, and today we're gonna be doing a Milfi Tri Brigade deck profile. So I'm really excited for this one because this is actually the first time that I've actually picked up Tri Brigade and thrown it in a deck, which is a really awesome like engine that you can do all sorts of crazy stuff in this deck with and be able to get some really insane plays off. And it gives Milfi the push that it really needed. So without further ado, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell there so you can come part of Notification Squad, and definitely check out the Patreon down in the description below because we have some awesome sports you guys like in your name description every single video getting assigned cards in the mail or even getting to rest deck profile every single month at your patron along with test hands so without further ado let's get straight on into this so first off we're gonna be playing three copies of milfy puppy so this card is probably one of the best cards in the entire deck that has the ability that if your opponent normal or special summons a monster except during the damage step or if an opponent's monster targets this card for an attack, you can return this target to the hand and then special summon one level two or lower beast type monster from your deck, except another copy of itself. And then all your Melfi share the ability that during your end phase, you can special summon this card from your hand and you can only use each effect of this card once per turn. We then play three copies of Melfi Kathy. Melfi Kathy is a really good card because it has the ability that if this card is normal or special summon or is targeted for an attack by an opponent's monster, uh, then you return this card to your hand and then you get to add a beast monster from your deck your ham which is pretty good to be able to just add literally any beast monster that you need from your deck to your ham I then play a single copy of Milfi Finny. Finny is just a one-up to me. I dropped Pony because I needed room for the Tri Brigade engine, but Finny is really good because it has the ability that if this card is returned to the hand, then you can special summon a beast monster from your hand, which can help you out a lot to be able to tag in and out of your beast monsters uh, to get certain monsters on your side of the field faster. So that's pretty much it for the Milfies. For the beast monsters that are level two, we're going to be playing three copies of Nimble Beaver. Nimble Beaver, if it's normal summon, you can special summon another nimble monster it's level three or lower from your deck to, or graveyard to your side of the field um which is pretty cool just to be able to get you an additional monster to go into a rank two play or into a link two play um is a really really good card we then play two copies of mystical beast of the forest which is the uh bambi i just call this card bambi um it's a tuner monster which is very important for the deck to be able to go into naturia beast and it has the ability that you can discard this card or discard a card then target a level two or lower uh beast monster monster in your graveyard except another copy of itself and special summon an attack position or face down defense position which can kind of help you a lot to get into link plays or into xyz plays of level twos and it's just an overall really good card we then play two of the better well i wouldn't say better but like both of them are really good but the um the white rabbit is really good the mystical beast of the forest this card is really 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 good because if this card is special summoned by the effect of a beast monster you can target a card on the field and destroy it so this card is constantly just popping cards on the field and what you're losing looping usually to be able to pop additional monsters and to pop all sorts of different stuff on the field like for instance if you have milfy puppy you can normal summon the milfy puppy when your first turn or during the end phase you special summon it to your side of the field and then when your opponent declares an attack you can bounce the milfy puppy back to your hand and when you bounce the milfy puppy you special summon this and it will give you a pop on your opponent's side of the field and this will go in defense solution which will give you a little bit more of a defensive play and it thins the deck as well so overall you do want to play two of this and if it does hit the graveyard you always have the other mystical beast that can revive it back to give you additional plays we then play a single copy of hop eared squadron hop eared squadron that during your opponent's main phase you can quick effect target one Face a monster you control, special summon this card from your hand. If you do immediately have this card resolve, sink or summon a synchro monster, which is pretty cool to be able to just immediately sink her onto a Herald of the Arc Light. This card's a really good one of. I probably wouldn't play it as any more than one anymore, but it's still a really good card. We play a same copy of Mind Mole. Mind Mole helps us get into Naturia Beast because it's a level three monster, a level three earth monster, and it has the ability that once per turn, this card cannot be destroyed by battle. And if this card is sent to the graveyard as a synchro material for a beast monster, which is the only thing we're ever going to synchro summon with, with this card you get to draw a card um, and if this card is removed from the field by an opponent's card effect you remove this card from play which is not that big of a deal but you're basically just using it as a level three earth monster uh, we then play three copies of rescue cat rescue cat is a good normal summon in this deck because you can normal summon rescue cat and then special summon from your deck to uh beast monsters that are level three or lower which is usually going to be mind mole and your copy of bambi as well once you summon those to your side of the field you're going to have the ability to go into a naturia beast so this is basically a one card naturia beast and even if they do ash blossom it and stop you you can still get your copies of your milfies during the end phase so you still have play it so 
That's it for the beast monsters that are the level two and lower beast monster package. Let's get into the tri brigade and the tech monsters. So for the tech monsters and the tri brigade, we're going to be opening up with two copies of Alpha the Master of Beasts. So you can play this at three, okay? It is arguably one of the best beast cards ever created. I just like it as a two of. Um, it's really good. Prankatops, it's like Prankatops 2.0. It's a really good card. Do not get me wrong. Uh, but what this card does is I don't want to see it multiple times in my hand. So I play it as a two of because I have so many ways to thin the deck. I just like it as a two of. But what this card does is it must first be special summoned from your hand. And while the total attack of all monsters your opponent control is more than yours, you can just special summon this card to your side of the field. Then you return cards from your field to your hand that are Beast, Beast Warrior. I think it's just Beast. You can Beast, Beast Warrior or Wing Beast monsters you control. Return the hand, then you return the same amount of monsters that you return to your hand, uh, to your opponent's hand. And then you can just special summon this card back to your side of the field if your opponent has more attack points than you do still, but you can't bounce again, which is pretty good. Um, and this card is really good, but I'm not going to overhype it because it's a good two of, but you could get away with three, but the deck is very tight, so I don't want to drop anything for a third one. You could drop Finny if you want to drop Finny or one Kathy for a third one, but I think two is fine. I don't think you really need a third one. Uh, so then we play three copies of Tri Brigade Frankentail. The Frankentail is pretty good because what this card does is it helps you get your Link monsters out ridiculously fast because you can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard and then you send a level three or lower Beast, Beast Warrior, or Wing Beast monster from your deck to the graveyard. And you can only use the effect of this card once per turn. And as the ability you can banish this card, banish any number of Beast, Beast Warrior, Wing Beast monsters in your graveyard. Special summon a Beast, Beast Warrior, or Wing Beast Link monster with from your extra deck that with a link rating equal to the total number of banished. Also, you cannot. Um, also, you can only use Beast, Beast Warrior, or Wing Beast monsters as link material for the rest of the turn, which is not the big of a deal because that's mainly what we're using anyways. We then play two copies of the level two, um, the level two Tri Brigade monster. This card's really good because it can let you discard a mother card from your hand that's a Beast, Beast Warrior, or Wing Beast, and then you special summon this card from your hand. And then you manage any number of beast, beast warrior, or wing beasts in your graveyard. Special summon a beast, beast warrior, or wing beast link monster from your extra deck with link materials or link rating equal number of the ones that you banished. Um, but you can only use beast, beast warrior, being beast for the rest of turns uh, as link materials, which it kind of shares the same thing as Frankentail. And then you play a single copy of um, Nirval. Nirval is just a good one of in this deck. I don't think you need more than one near ball because it has the ability you can banish any number of beast beast warrior wing beast monsters in your graveyard special summon a beast beast warrior wing beast from your extra deck with a link rating equal to number you banish you can only use this effect once per turn and also uh you can only use things for that are link material for the rest of the turn it also has the ability if this card is sent to the graveyard you can add a tri brigade monster from your deck to your hand which is pretty cool to be able to add like a frankentail from your deck to your hand just to get you additional plays and then for the last three monsters we're going to be playing three copies of ash blossom just to kind of give you some hand trap ability as well to start Stop your opponent from all sorts of shenanigans against you the copies of ash blossom just help you discard to be able to stop them from searching their deck so that's it for the uh monsters and that's it for the tri brigades let's get into the uh spells so the spells we're going to be playing three copies of fire formation tinky because this card lets you add a beast warrior monster from your deck to your hand which is going to always be your copy of the frankentail because frankentail is ridiculously easy to grab out of the deck and it's a good 1900 beat stick as well if you're just going to normal summon it if you have your copy of tinky on the field it becomes 2k which is pretty good um and also it being the probably the best one to search uh anyways to be able to get into your copies of your um other monsters it's just a really good card in the deck you play a single copy of milfy tag this card's basically monster reborn unless you target a milfy monster in your graveyard special summon it and you can only activate one of it per turn it's a good card overall as a one of um and just a just a good one of um we then played three copies of obedient school obedient school is kind of like a really insane rescue cat because it has the ability if you control no monsters you can special summon three level two or lower beast beast warrior or, or excuse me beast monsters from your deck with different names um which is really good but their effects are negated and also they're destroyed during the end phase but it helps you get into your rank two plays or a link play uh which is really cool but you cannot um special summon for the rest of the turn except for beast monsters so that's the only downside of this card but i still think it's a good three of so that's it for the spells, guys. Let's get into the traps. So for the traps, we're just going to be playing three copies of Infinite Impermanence. Impermanence is a three of in here to me because it just helps out quite a lot to be able to stop your opponent with all their um, 
different monster effects. It's just an overall really good card and probably one of the best hand traps in the entire game right now. Um, I just love this card as a three of, and I probably will continue to play it as a three of in this deck. It just basically is like an effect failure, but if you don't have impermanence and you still want to play this deck, you can play three effect failure instead. Uh, or a copy of Gamma. You can play three Gammas as well. If you don't have all the copies of the Alphas, because I know they're like 40 bucks and you're still trying to build this deck, you can drop one of the Alphas if you have to and play a Gamma, um, a Gamma Driver package instead of the impermanence as well. So... That's it for the main deck, guys. Let's get into the extra deck. So for the extra deck, we're going to be playing two copies of the Tri Brigade um, Barrel Blossom. Barrel Blossom is really, really good as a two of in this deck because she has the ability that during your main phase, you can special summon level four or lower Beast, Beast Warrior, or Wing Beast Monster from your hand, which basically can help you um, link climb if you want, but you can also, you cannot use... Uh, monsters as link material for the rest of the turn except for beast beast warrior or wing beast monsters and if this card is sent to the graveyard you can draw a card and then place one card from your hand on the bottom of your deck which helps you kind of go through the deck a little bit faster you play a single copy of silver sheller uh silver sheller is a really good card too it's a good way to climb into your link ratings to get into your finally into your ominous omen um, but what this card does is during your opponent's turn quick effect you can special summon one level four or lower beast warrior beast or wing beast monster from your hand or graveyard but negate its effects and also for the rest turn um return to the hand during the end phase and if this card is sent to the graveyard you can make all monsters your opponent currently controls lose 300 attack for each monster type you control until the end phase of the turn which can be up to like 900 i believe in this deck because you have beast warrior well really like six because you have beast warrior and um well you can go nine sometimes because you have all three between beast beast warrior and wing beast uh, we then play a single copy of Ominous Omen. Ominous Omen is probably my favorite of all of them, and the reason I actually wanted to pick up Tri Brigade and throw it in this deck, because I love Ominous Omen's artwork. This card is insanely cool. Um, what this card does is if it's special summoned, or if another Beast Warrior, Wing Beast, or um, Beast Monster is special summoned to the field, you can banish one card on the field, and it doesn't target. And if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add a Beast Warrior, Wing Beast, or uh, Beast Monster from your deck to your hand, whose level is less than or equal to the number of your banished uh, Beast, Beast Warrior, Wing Beast Monsters. And you can only use its effect once per turn. So it's a really good card uh, to be able to just use this and climb, and it banishes stuff. This card is a really, really good uh, boss monster. I play a single copy of Boral Sword as well. Boral Sword is just a good one of to me, um, because basically you're going for the Beast Warrior, Wing Beast, and Beast in this deck. But Boral sword helps out a lot just to help you kind of surprise otk your opponent uh i play two copies of milfy of the forest milfy of the forest is a pretty good card because it lets you detach a material to add a milfy card from your deck to your hand and if another uh, face up milfy card you control is returned to the hand then you target a monster your opponent controls and it can't attack and also it's vector negated while it's face up on the field which basically if your opponent attacks you have this ability to kind of just use this effect which is really good i play a single copy of the joyous milfies joyous milfies lets you detach a material from this card and then your Milfies can attack directly this turn. Um, and then during your opponent's turn, quick effect, you can detach or you can target one Beast Warrior XZ or Beast XZ's monster you control. Return that monster to the extra deck. Then you can special summon a level two or lower Beast monster from your graveyard up to the number of materials that monster had as well. I've really thought about bumping this up to two. Um, and I'll tell you guys after I get to it what I would drop for it. Uh, so then we're going to be playing a single copy of the Milfy Mommy. Uh, I know that name gets me every single time. Konami, what were you doing? Uh, what this card does is really cool. I love this card. It has a really good effect if you get multiple, like, materials on it because it has the ability that it also once per turn you can attach a beast monster from your hand or face from your field to this card as a material and it gains the following effects depending on the amount of materials that are attached to it if you have three can't be destroyed battle if it has four if you take no battle damage for battles involving this if you have five when this card attacks um it involving an attack position monster you can inflict damage your opponent and go to the attack position monsters attack which is pretty cool i like that ability uh, we then play number 64 Ronin Raccoon because it gives you a token which is pretty cool to be able to be the highest attack on the field or it matches the highest attack on the field and we play a single copy of Cat Shark. Cat Shark, I, the reason I play this card is because it works with Nimble Beaver but I'm thinking about dropping it for another copy of the Joyous Milfy but while this card has an XZ material attached to it that was originally water which is again Nimble Beaver it can't be destroyed by battle and then once per turn during either player's turn you need to edge material with this card and then target a rank 4 or lower XZ's monster you control and attack and its attack and defense becomes double its original attack and defense for the, until the end of the turn. It combos pretty well with the Joyous Milfy, um, which is why I thought about playing it at multiples, especially because this card can attack directly and then this card can give you the double attack, which is pretty cool. 
You play a single, co top, a single copy of F-Zero Utopic Future. Uh, this card's really good because you can overlay two Eggsies monsters that are not number monsters into this card, and it can be destroyed by battle. Neither player takes battle damage involving this card, and the end of the damage of this card battles, you take control of that opponent's monster, which is pretty cool. And if this card would be destroyed by a card effect, you need to detach from two of this card instead. This card can be really difficult for your opponent to get past. You can play a single copy of Double A Zeus. Double A Zeus Sky Thunder, or yeah, Sky Thunder is really good because you can just overlay this after you battle, and then board wipe the field. And then you can play a single copy of Naturi Beast just to negate spells, and a single single copy of Herald of the Arc Light because you only ever go with a two, uh, two twos to go into your copy of Herald of the Arc Light or a two and a three to go into Naturia Beast is the only time you ever synchro in this deck. So that's it for the deck, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. It's a really cool Tri-Brigade Milfy deck. Um, I'm really excited to actually play around with Tri-Brigades more. Um, I'm probably going to be doing a Zodiac version of Tri-Brigade. I'm probably going to be doing a couple of different versions of Tri-Brigade in the, in the channel. I'm really excited to like play around with it because I really like the engine and what it can do it reminds me a little bit of like um almost like shit all like you can throw it into anything that has beast warrior wing beast or beasts which is kind of cool and i feel like melfi's is the one that needed the boost the most so i went ahead and did this one first so anyways guys this is dark room duels don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the bell on your screen come part notification squad and definitely check out the patreon down the description below because we got some awesome words you guys and we'll see you guys in the next video see you later guys